Okay. <laughs> Please welcome the cast of Glee. Naya Rivera, Heather Morris, Jenna Oshkowitz, Kevin McHale, Amber Riley, Chris Colfer, executive producer Dante DiLoretto, and ex co-executive producer and co-creator, actually executive producer and co-creator, Ryan Murphy. <laughs> um, Chris, I want to start with you because, um, Uh, I mean, that last scene, I just watched it again, you know, backstage, and it gave me chills again. You know, talk about the storyline with you and uh, Michael Malley, who plays your father. It, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's like the emotional heart of the show. Has it been as rewarding for you as an actor as it is for viewers? Oh, absolutely, because uh, every day I get, you know, thousands and thousands of uh, emails and, and Facebook messages and, and Twitter, you know, replies saying how much, especially, especially that scene in particular, uh, how much it, it affected them and, and how much they're just so happy that um, a relationship like Kurt and his father is, is now on television because it's the first time in television history a father like that has accepted his son for who he is. Yeah. And Mike, and my, oh my God, Mike is just, he's, he's flawless and he's, he's great to work with and he just puts his entire being into everything he does and, and uh, I don't think anyone else could, could do it um, as well as he does. He's just flawless. Yeah. I mean, Amber, another relationship that I loved was Mercedes and Quinn because it was so surprising, but at the same time, it felt so organic and real. Was that, has that been fun for you? Because it was such a surprise and you guys were kind of antagonist, you know, in the, in the beginning, you were not necessarily friendly, <laughs> it, but, um... It, it was fun, and um, when I finally, that was, like, the first time that I got to actually work with um, Diana, yeah. and it was just, it was a lot of fun, and I, I love the relationship between the two of them, because it was so un unexpected, but yeah. that's what the show is all about. It's, it's telling people you don't have to, you know, go with the stereotypes. You can be friends with whoever you want to be with, and um, I love the relationship. Yeah. I hope it continues. <laughs> Heather, you know, Brittany, pretty much... <laughs> Brittany, Brittany pretty much only had like one line an episode, but it was so yeah. fantastic <laughs> that, I mean, it's amazing that she's become this fan favorite. Thank uh, you. Love you too. Do you, do you have a favorite Brittany line? Uh, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think uh, either, yeah, the gay sharks or I like the mouse. The mouse is the funny one because yeah. it's unexpected. You have no idea. I love when you ask uh, Mr. Shu if Jonathan Groff, if, if Jesse is his <laughs> That son. was me. I'm the one. Thank you. I, I did that myself. You came up with that? I came up with that, yes. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, Naya, you know, yeah. Santana is, like, still, you know... <laughs> she's hot. <laughs> Santana is still kind of... She's still kind of a villain, even though she's stuck with Glee Club all year long. Do you think she actually likes these people, or is she still just doing this you know, to, to help spy for Sue? Well, um, I don't know. I think that she really does like singing and dancing yeah. uh, in her heart of hearts. Uh, but she's a bitch, and she's always going to be a bitch. <laughs> like, that's who she is. And I don't think that she would uh, be as fun as she is if she wasn't rude. No. And we love her for being a bitch. Yeah. Do you guys have favorite moments so far this season? Bad <laughs> romance. Oh, yeah. 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 That episode. This answer changes every time that somebody yeah. asks this question. But yeah, bad romance. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, can you maybe preview a little bit what we're gonna see for season two? Uh, well, interestingly enough, I think people think after their first season that we've had, which was so unexpected and nuts, people think we're gonna get bigger and bigger and try and be crazier. Actually, I think we're we're doing it in a in a different direction. And a lot of that is because of the people that you see up here. Um, I think those the characters pop so much that, like, you know, I want to see a, a whole episode of Britney. I want to see. <laughs> I want to see more about Artie and Tina, and I want. I mean, so this, the second season is designed, I think, to be a little bit more intimate, and I think it's just from feedback, really, feedback from the fans that they want more of the people that they've grown to love. <laughs> Huckleberry. Um, I just think people love, you know, what I found is that people love the characters so much yeah. that they wanted to spend more time with them. So we listened and that's what we're gonna do. Do you guys, the cast, do you guys have any songs you wanna see this season? Like, is there anything you're actively campaigning to do? I wanna do the time warp. <laughs> I 
love Chris. <laughs> well, funnily enough, Chris, we are doing a Rocky Horror episode, so. <laughs> you will get your wish. My question is for Naya and Heather. Uh, I wanted to know how you feel about the large fan base that supports a relationship between Britney and Santana. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we love it. Are you talking about uh, Santitney? <laughs> oh! That's our mashup name. Um, no, I, I think it's amazing, and it's something that I don't think that either of us expected to happen. Uh, we were just having fun together. We just and hang out and have yeah, fun. Yeah, literally. And the cameras roll and we just hang out. And so... Uh, <laughs> we're actually writing an episode where we're debating whether they should kiss, so... Uh, Ryan. <laughs> he just wants to hear you scream. That's yeah, why he, he says just wants that. to make everyone scream. <laughs> 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 Prove it now. Yeah, no, but I don't know. I, I, I love it and uh, she's great to work with. And so I, I'm really excited that the fans kind of you know, took well to that and latched on. What do you think, Brittany? I agree with that. I don't know, even in the, the scenes, like it's just literally her and I together, like making each other laugh. So it's either like on camera, off camera, like, I don't know, I'm glad that we like have such a fan base because we're best friends in real life, so. We make out all the time. We, yeah, we make out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get it out there. <laughs> Again, way to play to the crowd. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Next, next question. Hi. I was just wondering what the best thing that has come with fame, like meeting someone really big or traveling. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the best thing is is meeting the fans and doing stuff like this for us because we do wow. work in such a, a glee bubble, like we always say, and when we get out here and we get to see you guys and hear your feedback, it kind of gives us a little bit of a, a rush when we get back to work. It makes us work a little bit harder. And the traveling is nice, too. And what about, <laughs> what about singing for the President of the that United was, that States? Was, yeah. that, 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 that was, that was cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> is there any nerves? Did you guys have any nerves during that? Were you nervous at all? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we still get nervous. <laughs> We get nervous all the time. <laughs> it was yeah. like the stage at the end of the lawn, and it's like, you know Michelle and Barack yeah. are up there. <laughs> <laughs> Who was scarier, the president or Oprah? Oprah. 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 <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> we, we weren't allowed to bring cameras or anything Everybody into the building. Everybody was much more nervous about Oprah <laughs> than the president, which was fascinating. All right, <laughs> all right next question. Um, my question is for Chris Colfer. What are some of the differences between you, Chris Colfer, and Kurt Hummel? Oh gosh, where do I begin? Um, <laughs> I had no idea who Mark Jacobs was until we shot the pilot. <laughs> um, I don't care for 10 inch heels. Um, and I think I am just a huge, huge nerd. And um, I think, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, I feel very much at home, thank you. Um, <laughs> Um, so I, I think Chris is just a huge, as I'm talking to myself in third person. In third I, person. I, I, I think <laughs> right, um, I'm a little crazy. Um, I think I'm just um, a huge, huge nerd, and I'm, I'm very awkward. And uh, Kurt is just, you know, he, he just thinks he's superior to everyone around him. And, uh, and what's not to like about that? Hi, I love you, Kevin. But oh. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> Um, I was wondering if you guys have any pet peeves about each other <laughs> off camera. Oh, of course we do. That's a good question. <laughs> Amber hates when I crack my gum. Oh, uh, anyway. And I'm Heather. the worst. And I'm Heather. the worst mm -hmm. at popping my gum. Uh, Amber videotaped me on the treadmill and put it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's amazing. Did that happen? <laughs> Any more about Amber? Amber goes like this. <laughs> hey, wait, she does this. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Do it. This is Corey's biggest pet peeve. This is Corey's biggest pet peeve, what I do. <laughs> That's for you, Corey. He hates All it. All the girls get around him, like Jenna and Leah and Amber, and just do that. And he's like, ah! <laughs> we have little things, yes. <laughs> All right, next question. Hey, panel. Um, I was wondering which of you were actually in a glee club in high school? I think I was the only one. I was in Glee Club. Uh, 
I think Mr. Murphy was also in a Glee I club. Was. <laughs> I was. And Ian, too, right? And oh, yeah, Ian, Ian was, yeah. Was Ian and I and Jenna, I think. And wasn't Leah in something? Yeah, no? Sure. She was on she Broadway. Was on Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> she was on Broadway at nine. <laughs> Straight from the delivery room to Les Mis, <laughs> Leah Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Is there a boyfriend coming up for Kurt? I want specifics. Don't make me come up there. <laughs> Girl. Yeah, you know, we definitely are going to do that. I mean, one, one of the things that I always thought would be that was important to me for that character was to sort of have the, um, in a weird way, a high school experience that, that I didn't have. And I think that I really want Kurt, who I think has struggled a bit, to ultimately get to a place where he is incredibly comfortable and easy and proud about it. And I think he should have a boyfriend and they should be prom king and king. That's my ultimate goal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Chris feels about it, but yeah, we are we are going to do that, and um, I think we're going to we're going to definitely do that in the second season. I think that's important. I think that's an important thing to put out into the world. For you know, we get so much great feedback. Um, I really want to see that relationship. I want to see what that relationship is like. I want to see what Michael Malley thinks about that. <laughs> what was your favorite part? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> that was a good question. My favorite part um, was when... <laughs> Mine was when I got to wear the cone bra. There you go. <laughs> that was my favorite part. <laughs> favorite part. One of my favorite parts was getting to play Ryan Murphy directing the Vogue video. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was my Ryan Murphy impression. <laughs> this is pretty nice, too. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, this is, this is, this is my favorite part. All right, next question. Hi, this question is also for Ryan. I was wondering what feedback you've received from uh, choir directors around the country as, as far as the show's impact on high school students. Well, we get feedback from that all the time. And one of the, I mean, the thing for me that is the greatest joy about the show was when we did the show. For me, the show was like uh, the thesis statement. Yeah, I think I even said it in the pitch was, this is a show about why the arts matter and why the arts can change your life. All right, next question. Um, what is your favorite song from the show? Mine yeah. is Poker Face. Poker Face. Poker Face, yeah. Poker Face was good. Mine's poker Face is winner. <laughs> like a virgin. My, mine, is, um, <laughs> <laughs> mine is still Somebody to Love. That's I love Bad Romance. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. I loved uh, One Last Spell to Answer. Yes, that's, 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 oh, that's, that's my favorite. Yeah. I know. So many. There's too many. All right, this is going to be a, a, have to be the last question, so sorry. <laughs> Hello. Um, I'm a big musical theater nerd, and I've noticed that a lot of the songs that you guys perform as far as musical theater are from the last 30 years. So I was wondering if you're going to anytime soon bring any songs from the golden age of Broadway. Like, I'd like... Uh, stay by the mic. Can I have some suggestions? We're writing. Uh, what do you love? Carousel. Carousel. Guys and Dolls. Guys and Dolls. That's a good one. I can see Artie busting out some Guys and Dolls. We did sit down. American in Paris. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, yeah, of course we will. Uh, there are so many great numbers and so much to sort of pay tribute to. I mean, I really look at it as uh, we're just kind of getting started, you know? Um, and we have a lot that we would like to pay homage to. And I think that when we do those numbers, we really do them as fans. And I'm fans of all the, those that you mentioned, so yeah. All right, well, yeah. on, <laughs> on behalf of the cast of Glee, I want to thank all you guys for coming out today. Thank you. Thanks so much. And tune in to Glee this fall. <laughs>